Daisy. Daisy. Good morning. Oh! You don't like the deer? There's Bambi just chilling in the, my front yard. I don't know why they're so tame up here, but they really aren't afraid of humans. They're uh, they're pretty fearless. They don't care. <laughs> okay, you guys can go now. You guys can go now. Go ahead. Go. 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 I wonder if I have any food. Oh my god, there's another one. One, two, three, four. I'll see you guys later. Take care. Be good. Stay safe. God, that's a big one. These deer specifically just always stay up on top of this hill. Every morning I wake up, I see the deer in my backyard. It's the craziest thing on earth. The reasons to why they're so tame and like not afraid of humans makes no sense to me. They just don't care. I just thought you guys would find that interesting. Again, I didn't plan that. It's not like I uh, threw out a bunch of feed. So in case you guys haven't noticed yet, I'm home from North Carolina. It was a fun trip. I'm, I'm gonna take it easy today. I'm gonna do some work. You always gotta do some work. You always gotta put in your hours, but uh, I'm gonna kinda chill. Like I'm not gonna go out in the water and fish. It's, it's a lot colder than it was when I left. When I left, it was like 70 degrees. Now it's like probably 35, 40 degrees. Not cool. 18 years, 18 years. I'm almost made it to the bank, guys, so I'm probably just gonna leave the camera in the car. The worst way to, to get someone to accept your loan is to walk in there acting like a complete turd, waving around a, a camera on a stick. So I'm gonna leave the camera in the car, act like I know what I'm talking about, and hopefully we'll um, we'll be able to work things out here. Woo! God, Hollander's kicking today, man. It's like someone uh, added a few extra horsepower last night without me knowing. Whoa, gosh, she's fast. Well, I was a little too early for my appointment. I guess I got the times mixed up, so I gotta go back here later. <clears throat> Quick thing before I start the car up. It may not seem like important, but I just realized it actually kind of is important. Just recently, I got a new camera. Recently, when I was in North Carolina, I smashed my second iPhone 6. So I, I pulled the trigger and I decided to get the, the wonderful, beautiful, somewhat controversial iPhone 7. I like it so far. I mean, it literally is just like the 6. And the issue I have when I'm, when I'm, filming inside of stores or public places or if I'm jumping from spot to spot is I hate carrying around this big bulky Sony a7s when I want to be kind of incognito and I don't want to get kicked off of airplanes or kicked out of restaurants I want to be able to film still and I want to be kind of low-key about it so that's why I kind of got this it was one one other reason why I got this and the camera quality is insane so so right now I kind of want to incorporate the GoPro the drone the a7s which is a DSLR and then the phone I've added another camera to the lineup as if I needed more cameras uh, so what do I do for two hours? I guess I can go grocery shopping now. Yeah, I'll probably do that. I'll be back in like two hours. Such an idiot. Yo, that was a, oh my God, I gotta, this is freaking crazy. There's a coyote chasing two bucks. This is crazy. Where's it? Oh, there's the coyote right there. There's the two bucks. Look at that. Oh, you guys can probably barely see it, but there's a coyote right there, and he was chasing these two giant bucks. Coyote right there, white tail right there. He's still chasing them. That was so sick. I need to get off the land because the farmers are on this land. I literally swore, like, look at this. I swerved off the road, jumped out of my car, grabbed the camera. Dude, that was, oh my God, I wish I would have gotten a better shot of that. The issue with this lens is it's a wide angle. It's not very good with, like, oh, there's the, there's the buck. Oh, that's a doe. Okay, so this is what happened. So the buck was chasing the doe. I don't know, it looked like an eight point buck. It wasn't a huge buck, but chasing the buck and the doe was this big coyote. It was a massive coyote, actually. That was crazy. I wish I would've gotten it on film. You guys can just barely see the coyote. Oh, I should've filmed in 4K. It cropped down real nice on it. Dude, that was amazing. Sorry, I, I should put my seatbelt on. Oh my God, I wish, see that's the kind of stuff I wish I could film. The problem is this is a wide angle lens, so I'm not able to get a very narrow focus. That was still cool to see though. I've never seen it like that, especially in the daytime, like out in the open. I mean, this is a pretty suburban area for gosh sakes. Gonna head home, do some stuff, then go back to the bank. But in between that, I'm gonna watch some uh, animals chase each other, I guess. I know this episode's already way too full of deer action, but there's a bunch of them in my backyard, and I'm gonna see if I can capture them with a little 4K drone action. God, what the hell is wrong with this thing? What? Yo, it's working, it's working. They're 
not even moving. I know today's video is already extremely saturated with uh, lots of deer content, but I couldn't pass up that opportunity. My life is totally complete. I just, I just filmed deer via drone, via mini drone. I love this thing so much. So I know a lot of people really wanted my opinion on this whole Mavic deal. And granted, I get it, my channel is very fishing oriented, but being that I have lots of other passions and loves, I like to take time to talk about this kind of stuff right here, the whole technology aspect of what I do and who I am as a amateur videographer and a very amateur angler. This drone is like the coolest thing ever, but I, there's, I just, that's just, but in an instance, just like now when I'm trying to film those deer, this thing really comes into play and it's just something I kind of realized. This drone is way more slender, way more low key than the Phantom 4. The Phantom 4 is like, tall and boxy. The Mavic Pro can kind of like slide in between like branches and obstacles and it was just like so perfect for that moment. There's really nothing I have to complain about this drone. The only thing that I would say is a little bit different than the Phantom 4 is of course the camera quality, but in my opinion, it's right up there. Like it's not like it's super grainy and super crusty. It's not like a Peric lens camera. I'm sitting here doing some work or at least pretending to do some work, getting distracted by all the deer that surrounded my house. And then in a little bit, I'm gonna jump back out to the bank. I think I'm gonna leave the camera here. There's no point in you know, updating you guys once I get to the bank. Oh my God. Okay, well, my room is still a mess. I'm really like never home, like to be truthful. I'm home maybe three tops, four days. I'm never really spending too much time down here. Now in earlier videos, I explained that this was gonna be my studio and it still technically is, but I usually do most of my work upstairs. There's like a lot of sunlight. It's nice, like when you're down here, it's underground. I don't have anything to work on. As you can see, the only desk I have in my room has clothes on it. It's not very, pr like you can't like set a computer right here because the clothes are here and the clothes, they never really move. So these are clean clothes, those are dirty clothes. It's all, this is starting to make sense now, okay. I'm gonna try to get this cleaned up, it, it's bad. I just don't like being around cluttered mess. It, it's, not, it's not good for the productive mind. Okay, so it looks a little bit better, but to be completely honest with you guys, I pretty much took everything that was out here and just threw it. Yeah, well we can just... But hey, I can see my floor, which is good. I feel like I'm always making a how to clean your room vlogs because my room's always a mess. But check this out. The art wall is looking really good. I still have some more letters to open and read, but other than that, it's looking pretty stellar. Um, this is where random junk that was on the floor goes. It just kind of goes in this nice little, I would call this like a built-in shelf. It's, it's really convenient for just shoving junk, like more junk that you'll never probably ever use kind of away from the, the mid section. As long as this section right here is clean, I'm so content. Ooh, I got these dope speakers too. I've had these for a long time. I've never talked about them. These are like my big old Bose speakers. I got one here and then one there. They're extremely loud. We can check them out right now if you'd like. That, that can't be from here. That can't be patience when I make it well from here. Speakers are so good. Whenever I'm working, I'm not editing. I love to have music. Oh, real quick, this episode is now brought to you in part by Bose. Also, a lot of you guys think I only listen to rap, but one of my favorite artists ever is this guy right here. Here comes the story of the hurricane. So I thought I'd just kind of take a brief moment to share with you guys what this room is all about. You know, like I, I haven't talked about down here in quite some time and I, I thought I'd keep you guys updated. It hasn't changed much. I still need my workstation. I'm still thinking about getting a nice big rug here and also a couch. Like the three things I really want, big desk, chill couch for napping on. The one thing I have not been doing that I need to get back into is watching movies. It's like my third biggest passion next to filming and fishing. I am a film geek and I want to create an area that not only enables me to be creative when it comes to video editing and like making these videos, but also an area for me to kind of observe and learn and kind of take notes. Anyway, I'll save that story for a later date. But I also wanted to show you guys. For those of you guys who may or may not notice, I am wearing this, uh, it's pretty dope hoodie. This is actually a rigged hoodie. It's um, kind of like a clothing line I started. It's not directly connected to like my channel, but it's something that's like, I've been working on for quite a long time now. It's a very slow process. I've had the store up for quite some time, but I haven't really 
pushed the shirts yet and kind of said, hey, you guys should check them out. But now is the time to do so, mainly because I'm gonna be running a little bit of a Black Friday sale. Here's how you can save some money on these rig shirts. I got a bunch of different designs. I've got like the one with the swords, I've got the rig, Keep Fishing Never Stop logo, and like the fish logo. Like there's some really sick designs out there that I worked really hard on. If you wanna get these shirts like at a good price, all you have to do, text rigged, just the word rigged, to this number right here. You will then get a text saying that you're in for the Black Friday sale. MTB is the one that's hosting this Black Friday sale they're doing on their website. So you get this text on the morning of Black Friday, I believe it is, you'll get another text saying, hey, you're now eligible to go on the website. Like you're, it's like a VIP kind of thing. You have to text rigged to that number in order to get into the website. I know I'm explaining this terribly as I do most things, but I'll leave all the instructions in the, in the, in the description below if I'm not doing a good job because I'm, no, I'm not I'm rambling right now and uh, you'll be able to get some of these at like low cost, like really low cost, which is good. I'm working on a lot of new designs right now. I also wanna hit the ground running next year with some some bigger and better stuff. So let me know in the comments section below as to what you'd like to see. I wanna do stuff outside of shirts and hoodies. I wanna do like shoes, like I want rigged shoes. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this interesting, completely out their vlog. At the end of this, I wanna leave you guys a little something. Every now and then I work on projects and I never finish them, it's one of my biggest faults. So in this video, I was about to leave for Ohio, I was about to start a vlog. I don't know why I didn't continue the vlog, but I basically didn't. This is just some like, uh, it's a little bit of an archery B-roll montage that I shot. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate you guys so much. I hope you're gonna have an amazing holiday as it's, uh, as it's getting cold up here in the north. I'm reminded that it is getting close to um, the 25th. So, as always, keep fishing, never stop. All right, crank it. <laughs> nice. Tree. <laughs> Just a little family archery bonding time right now. There it is. A little high. Wanna try again? Sure. Heat it. We're all we're all testing out the brand new bows. The first time I ever really shot this bow, other than the time I shot it in Cabela's. I don't really hunt with bows. There's not no particular reason as to why I don't do it. I just like shooting. I've grown up shooting, but I haven't done it in quite a long time. It's pretty sweet. It's a smooth, smooth bow. I had an old bear's kit. Wait, hold on. Where'd it go? <laughs> you smoked that tree. Holy. Look at that, dude. Yeah, boy. But yesterday was full of fishing. I was thinking about going out this morning on the boat, but after the day Chris and I had last night, there was no point. I mean, I didn't think I could have had a better day than that. I mean, there's not a, there's not a whole lot of days on Lake X that produce fish that size. <laughs> I'm gonna give up. Okay. I'm done. Okay. Well, you did good, homie. <laughs> Today's not really gonna be a traditional vlog, you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm basically just gonna set up the scenario. Rather than doing a whole lot of unnecessary traveling B-roll and all that kind of random vlogging, I'm just gonna let you guys know what's going on. Today, we are leaving Ohio. We're leaving Lake X. It was a short trip, but it was a good trip. Other than that, I can't really think of anything off the top of my head. I have so much content to edit, so much video to go through, and I'm just so stoked to do it on this long car ride home. But until we're all uh, packed up, I'm gonna shoot around the bow for a bit and maybe, uh, I don't know, do some filming. Who knows? It's been a very long time since I've shot a bow, so let's see if I can uh, get back on the swing of things by making it a little challenging. but the other two are not bad.